So we just moved our three Cooney pigs in this spot yesterday. Come on, pigs. Come on. And then this morning, I come out here, feed the pigs. I already fed them. And you notice there's only three. Now, if your pigs don't come, don't do not come running to the feed and are going crazy for the food, then something's wrong. So we've had a sick pig before, really only one time. Uh, it was a couple years ago. Um, so ever since then, we've created this health medicine cabinet for our animals, which we have some disposable gloves, uh, diatomaceous earth, uh, this is some iodine for when you castrate, um, this is scalpels. Activated charcoal, which we're going to use. Colloidal silver, which when you have larger animals, you kind of need to have something ready to go. And here's some kelp. And apple cider vinegar we need. We're gonna use that today. One of our big feeder pigs got sick a couple years ago. We were able to heal him just by just what we had. Uh, so hopefully it's the same. Hopefully it's not such an issue. Yeah, see, all three of these are hanging out right here, and she went back in. Because she did eat some, which is great, but she wasn't devouring it. She was moving super slow. So now I gotta play doctor today. Give her some kelp and some activated charcoal. And then we're gonna see if they'll eat it. I know that pigs are gonna, other pigs are gonna wanna eat it. I've never had a problem with these pigs getting sick at all. Like these pigs have been super easy. Yeah, she got up a little bit right there. See, she's not even coming to the feed. You gotta be observant for your animals. That to me doesn't seem like she's right. Not you. <laughs> Let's try this. Hey. 
Hi pigs. Hi pigs. There she goes. She's getting up. I mean, at least she's getting up. When I first saw her, her tail was just flat. Now it's curly. Um, I don't know if that's an indicator there. I remember the last pig that got sick was, uh, didn't want to get up. Granted, it was a lot colder when they got sick, but. She's in. Let's give her some apple cider vinegar. Come on. Come on. I mean, at least she's eating. At least she did eat some. The activated charcoal, this one's devouring that. Helps with the stomach aches. We take it sometimes, so it's just natural stuff. It doesn't seem like she's drinking too much. I don't think I've ever seen them drink, actually all of them. Um, I'm gonna try something, apple cider vinegar, water. syringe I haven't used this before but I'm just gonna try it just stick it Drink it. Maybe a shot of that medicine will uh, will help. I don't know. <laughs> it's always 
It's always so crazy when an animal gets sick. How you doing? You too? How are you doing? Well, the good thing is that she did eat. She did eat some, she got up, she drank some water. I gave her two shots of apple cider vinegar. She ate a little bit of that kelp. I mean, we just have to monitor now the rest of the day, see how they are, and I may be overreacting, I don't know. But to me, it doesn't seem like she's acting like a pig, like how they all normally act. And when you raise pigs, you kind of see how, how they are, especially these pigs. I mean, I've had these over a year, so. I kind of know how how their personalities are. Hopefully that'll be that'll be it. But that one's eating the kelp. And we'll leave that there, the kelp, the charcoal. They have apple cider vinegar in the water. They have plenty of feed. I just overfed them today to get them out of my way. But um yeah, we'll just continue to monitor and come back. Hey, pigs! Hey, pigs! Hey, pigs! All right, it's later on in the day. In the afternoon, let's check on our pig. Hey, pigs! Hey, pigs! Hey, pigs! Hey pigs! Well, she's up. She's drinking water. Maybe she's a little hungry. Because all the other ones were hogging it up. There we go. There we go. I want to see the pigs fight. I just fed you guys like a few hours ago. Not, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. The rowdy bunch was back. Yeah guys, I think I think they're back. I think she's back. She's acting normal. Wow, I'm telling you, the kelp, kelp, activated charcoal, apple cider vinegar, clean water. I already wet their food. Maybe it was that shot I gave her right in the mouth. <laughs> I still have the charcoal there, the kelp. We're gonna leave that. Maybe I'll leave it there. Keep replenishing it as they, as needed. Just kind of, it's there. They, they keep going to it. They probably just think it's feed. Excuse me, excuse me guys. Come on, excuse me. No, no, no. Um, something that I always, something I've done in the past, which I kind of, I guess I, I have been lazy about, is adding apple cider vinegar with their feed and the water as I mix it in. Uh, I used to really, I really do that like every single time, but I've, I guess I got lazy and stopped doing it. So maybe I should, should uh, get in the habit of doing that again. Oh, this is Thorvin kelp. If you want to look, you can look that up. <laughs> a 
kind of put the water in the shade. But man, just being on a hill kind of makes it even more of a challenge to raise animals. This particular spot is on a hill. And I guess I could, I've had, I usually raise the feeder pigs on a, a nipple water with a big 55 gallon barrel, but I've never done it with these guys because we moved them so often. Yeah, I could literally be sitting here all day long watching my pigs, watering my pigs, giving my pigs belly rubs, petting them, talking to them, <laughs> feeding them. But then, you know, you don't want to pamper their vanity too much. All right. It's time for garlic put away time. Put away time. <laughs> Our garlic is officially dry. It's more than dry. It's very... How long has it been here? Oh, a couple weeks. <laughs> a couple weeks longer than we A couple weeks too long. Yeah, we just haven't got to them. It's easy to forget what's back here. Um, so they're dry and you can tell by like the inside is no longer green. So that's where you want them. You just really don't want them green. And then um, we're just gonna clean them up and put them away. So look, at it's already clean. It's like how, how quickly I did that one. Trim the top, trim the bottom and take off all of the dirty paper and then it's good to go. It's a really small one. And then Penelope's braiding with some soft neck. If it can be braided, like some of them are so stiff that you can't, like if you were to braid it, it would just break. Like that's a hard neck. But if it's kind of like, if it, see, this is a soft neck. Well, some of the soft necks are, like these are hard necks for sure. See, you can't even braid them. So you might be able to wiggle them enough where that they could get in a braid. This is a good soft neck one. I don't want to get too close, but there's a big wasp nest on that, on my bandsaw over there. You know, we don't like spraying and buying poison around here, but the people who say that never lived in the south in the summer. I'm gonna give you some that maybe we could try to break those ones. Yeah. Um, just the... That's it. Grocery shopping, our yeah, braid. We, yeah, we got a braid. It's kind of falling apart because of the... But we have a big old basket full of garlic that's gonna last us a whole year. Yeah. I think I might dehydrate some of these. Cause some of these that I peeled off of the bulb, we have to use right away. So I might just dehydrate these and then turn it into a powder. So then from here, we're putting it in our basement. Yeah, so it's gonna... And we can eat them, start eating. Yeah, right away. Actually, I've already run out of last year's garlic. I actually ran out like a week ago. So I really need garlic. And um, so we'll just use these right away. Some I'll put right into the house, like these cloves that we've got, these gotta be used right away. So I'll put these cloves right inside the house and then the rest of them will go in our basement. You think we'll save some to plant? Cause you could save some to plant also for yes. next year. Yeah, so, so we'll be planting this year for next year's harvest. So we're gonna be planting um, maybe, fall. End, yeah, fall time, end of October, early November. That's when we'll plant. And so you know, yeah. we can just stick these right in the ground. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's what's great about it. I mean, you don't have to keep on buying seeds. Like it's already kind of self-contained. <laughs>